So when you're just getting started fly fishing, basically there's two things you need to think about. Do you want to swing streamers or do you want to nymph fish? And I've got a selection of flies here for both types of fishing. And so over here we have some really good flies for swinging. And basically what we're looking at here are some fancy streamers. Um, and a lot of these are streamers that are specific to steelhead fishing, like a classic like the green butt skunk. And then um, folks have used things like muddler minnows for generations to swing uh, for steelhead as well. Another thing you might be thinking about swinging are things like egg sucking leeches or a woolly bugger or a flesh fly. But these might be flies you'd want to consider dead drifting like you were a nymphing as well. Now, over here, if you're going to dead drift these flies, we've got a bunch of nymphs and some egg patterns. Any, any large nymph with a little bit of flash to it is a good thing to try. Um, I like to use stonefly nymphs a lot, so here's three different large stonefly nymphs. And um, I also like to use things like egg flies. I think egg flies are really effective for steelhead. Um, and I often use those as a dropper fly behind a larger nymph. Now, when you're nymphing, a lot of times you want to get those flies really close to the bottom. So think about doing a couple things. First, use a weighted nymph. So if you look at this large stonefly nymph here, you can see that it's got two great big metal beads sewn into the body. And those metal beads help weight it and get it closer to the bottom. The other thing you want to think about using is using any number and size of split shot that you desire. And this is all angler preference and depends on uh, how fast the water is, how deep it is, and how close you want, to get, want it to get to the bottom. Now, a lot of people when they're nymphing like to use strike indicators. I really like to use strike indicators. Uh, they help you mend your line a little easier and they help you detect the strike. I prefer these types of strike indicators which are uh, a little bubble filled with air and they have a little grommet at the top there that's easy to loop onto your um, fly leader. Um, but you can use something as simple as a corky, which is used in other types of uh, salmon and steelhead fishing. And again, you just loop your line through that little hole and attach it to the top end of your leader and you can use it as a strike indicator. A lot of people make their own strike indicators using yarn or, um, or foam and there are a lot of strike indicators on the market that are um, readily available. And so really, if you take this tackle here and you add to it a fly line, a fly reel, and a fly rod, you're ready to start steelhead fishing. So have fun and catch some fish.